Hello, my name is Gary Ritland. We're at St James's Church Kirk. And one of the most important graves in the graveyard, like I said earlier, is Frederick Gatti. He invented Kakadai in, in 1843. He painted it and he was born in 1819. He died in 1888. He lived at Elfield Hall in 1855. He formed F.A. Gatti and Co. in 1843 at Hagworks on Highbrand Road and they did major printing and dyeing in the area and uh, eventually he passed away and he's buried here in this church and a massive influence on the printing and dyeing industry. Uh, the khaki dye is still used today in the uh, army's uniform, it, it's dust colour, khaki means dust colour and uh, so much so, he was loved so much by his children and that they uh, put a memorial in the church at Reridos uh, a ceramic tapestry which is about the height of that point you can see along the wall and it goes all the way around the church and it's images of Jesus Christ wonderful images and uh, the Reridos was installed in 1906 they paid £550 then it now equates to about £60,000 and it's still in the church. It's a great work of art. And uh, the people that put it in the church was William Powells, uh, White Friars of London, a company who are very famous and still do White Friars glass. And uh, they installed it then and a, a massive company uh, in the art world and uh, they, they were influenced by William Morris. William Morris was a, a designer and um, he uh, had a lot, made a lot of tapestries and uh, he did a lot of dyeing and printing and uh, we'll just find his details here. William Morris, uh, 1834, 1896, textile designer, poet, social activist, studied at Oxford and uh, he designed wallpaper, fabrics, furniture, stained glass and uh, a lot of the colours were from the madder plant which is a red colour, pinky red colour which grows just down the hill here really so that's why these people came uh, because the, the plant was growing in abundance and Willie Morris was part of the brief Raphaelite secret society founded in 1848 and uh, he did designed all these images along with his best friend he was from Essex his best friend was Edward Byrne Jones and he was born 1833 while 1898 he was a British artist and designer he designed stained glass windows mainly and possibly had this influence in this roundhouse at the back of the church the images are wonderful and these stained glass windows, they made some stained glass windows for the church, Edward Byrne Jones, uh, with William Morris. Byrne Jones designed them and William Morris helped create them with uh, John Henry Durrell, another master. He was a young master then. And Will, William Morris and they worked together and made these stained glass windows, which were put in the church, 1888. There was then a massive factory blast at William Bly's which mainly uh, damaged them and they had to be reinstalled in 1917 was the blast. Uh, TNT uh, was produced or stored at the factory and because of the war there was not much information come from the factory blast but it actually tore this church out nearly because it was a direct line and it blew the windows out. Uh, there was not much left so they repaired them. Edward Bird Jones is a well-known uh, designer and he uh, was a very good friend of William Morris and they both studied at Oxford and uh, designed windows uh, for cathedrals all over the UK. They were well known in the UK and uh, these people that did calico printing because they had so much money they got the best in the country to come here and put this artwork into the church. Uh, because money was no limit. So we'll leave, uh, leave there, we'll move on. Thank you.